Hello, come on in. This is the superintendent's office here. So it's my pleasure to give you a little tour of my office and give you a glimpse into my personal life even. Uh, definitely uh, in this office many difficult decisions are made and and uh, hopefully we continue to keep and we are keeping kids at the center of our focus as we make decisions. Uh, it's, uh, it's an office that my wife has helped me fix up and so I'll show you just a few things that that are v exceptionally meaningful to me. So over here I have some pictures of my family. My family is very very important to me. Anyone who knows me knows that uh, my four children and my wife Nancy are super important to me and they keep me centered and so I have reminders of, of them throughout my office. A couple of my favorite things that I have, you might look over here, uh, this is a poem that my son wrote when he was in fourth grade. I like to fish and my kids like to fish and my wife exceptionally, she really likes to fish. Um, but I caught a couple of big fish and, and uh, Ryan Brewer, my second oldest boy, uh, wrote this poem. I sit and stare and watch and wait for a fish to bite my bait. I do not make a single sound, yet no fish are to be found. I've already waited one whole minute this lake must have no fish in it. I bet a lot of kids feel that way. Another really special thing I have is, is this picture that my daughter, Katie, and you can barely see it maybe because it's done in pencil, but she really uh, wrote a meaningful uh, message to me. And uh, that's a picture of me holding her when she was a baby and now she's 20 years old. So that's incredible how fast time flies and how our kids grow up. Obviously, I'll top Dallas's fish story here because uh, I have a 64-pound tuna that I caught. That's the large tuna. My second, my oldest boy, Michael, uh, caught the. Uh, actually, mine's an 87-pound tuna, 87 pounds, and he caught a 64-pound tuna. So that's pretty impressive, and that tops Dallas's fish story for sure. There's no doubt about that. Um, and then. Uh, I'll show you a picture of my wife and I right there. That is at our 25th wedding anniversary in Destin, Florida. So I am blessed beyond comprehension on, uh, on my family and uh, love them tremendously. I have a, a picture up here that is, uh, reminds me of my principal days and I think it's important for me to remember what it's like to be with kids and I miss it greatly. And there may be a day I go back to being a principal uh, I'm still fairly young and have a lot of options. I like being a superintendent. And I love liberty, uh, but one never knows what's going to happen. And so uh, this was at Schumacher Elementary, and they, they surprised me with uh, what they call the Brewer's Bunch. And these, these students started uh, at Schumacher as kindergartners, and uh, this is their fifth grade year at Schumacher. So, and then the whole student body is saying goodbye to me when I, when I left to come to central office. Again, this is where the work is done. Actually, the work is done in the, in the buildings, in the classrooms. I know that for sure. That's where the meaningful work is done. I'll show you one more room and then we'll be done. Uh, this is a room where we, we meet with small groups and I have parents come in. And this is a, a, a district map of our, of our entire district, 85 square miles. Uh, we have uh, tremendous growth and so we track the growth with this map here. And obviously I'm very proud of all of our schools, but exceptionally proud of Franklin Elementary and, and they just got the Gold Star Award. And so I, I have that banner up. Uh, we just have a banner for s certain things. And so I put that up. So anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much the tour of Mike Brewer's office, the Superintendent for Liberty Schools. I'm blessed to be in this district. Uh, my four children have come through this district and and the teachers and the staff and the support staff and the leaders are tremendous. We're so blessed. So thank you. It was my pleasure to give you a tour of my office. Thank you.